week seven icons week and what a night it was we had double eliminations and we have a special guest in studio shirley ballas and a skype guest shana burgess so let's get the show going guys you're tuning into the destination for tv super fan discussion after buzz tv and now let the buzz begin Hey guys, and welcome to week seven. We're here at the Afterbuzz Studios. What a week it was, right? It, sure it was. was an Super amazing fun. show. We got perfect scores this week, the first of perfect the scores of the season. Yes. But first, let me go ahead and introduce our panel. We have a full panel today, starting with the queen of ballroom, Miss Shirley Ballas. Hi. Hello, Shirley. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for pleasure. joining us. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing. Yeah. I'm partly cloudy, having a good day today. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And then and we have our Robin over there. Hey, it's Robin with the V McSweeney, and you can find me at B Stays Busy B I Z Z Y. And you can find Shirley at Shirley Ballas. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and then we have the ever such a wallflower, not opinionated at no. all. <laughs> the Matthew. other queen of ballroom, right? <laughs> Matthew Evan Payne. So happy to be here. And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. Matthew Evan. There you go. Yes. Right. Well, before we actually get into the show today and go through the dances, we have a super special guest. We have Shana on Skype. <laughs> Hi, Shana. Hi, Shana. And we also have Jules. Hi, Jules. Hi, How are you Jules. doing? Friend of After Buzz show, welcome back. Sorry? Welcome back to the show, my darling. No, it's been a minute since I was with you guys. It has, how's it going? Really good, really good. I'm just prepping some stuff today for Antonio with Jules. Um, I love working with Jules's creativity, but uh, I like to really get my routines kind of down before Antonio walks in the room because we sometimes have minimal time because of his football commitments. So I like to have a plan and uh, that's kind of what we're doing right now. But I'm really excited about this week. Sharna, nice. be careful leaning forward. We don't want another wardrobe malfunction. No nip slips on this show, please, darling. <laughs> it's still a family show. <laughs> so let's get into last night, my uh, darling. Uh, who would have thought the turtleneck dress was the one that I would have at <laughs> <laughs> this is true. <laughs> it took time until Tom on national television had to tell everyone that I had put my top up. It was the most surreal thing. I was in the middle of the situation saying, <laughs> oh my God, this is real. This is a dress rehearsal. This is this is real. This, this is, is live. real life, yeah. <laughs> but I was on form last night. I had three wardrobe mishaps. The first one was that I didn't put my hood on for our solo. Oh, the that was it. When we were now, wondering. I will forever be in that category in television for the rest of my life. <laughs> I forgot to take off my dang skirt in the pre <laughs> A little Wonder Woman frill hanging out the gold jacket. Especially when you were jumping up and down, all giddy. That was the cutest. Part. At the end. <laughs> and Peter's face as well. Classic. <laughs> you could read her lips. Babe. Babe. You look like you're tired. Look like you're tired. Look night though and Antonio for me performed really well he was so dedicated uh last week in trying to get that technique down and some things are a struggle for him uh, especially in his posture but he's really working hard and I thought he improved a lot last week uh, and he really enjoyed that team dance so it was it was an amazing night it was a fantastic night. I mean, this was very different, I feel, for Antonio, the tango. So we've seen a really fun side to him, that beautiful smile that just lights up the room. But this, he really embodied. I was really actually surprised, Shana, to see how well he took to it. We had a lot of discussions about how he can't rely on his smile and his charm for this one, that it had to have a very menacing edge to it. Um, and he really channeled his game face. <laughs> <laughs> when he took off that hood and his bottom lip was pushed all the way out and he was in <laughs> business at that point. Uh, and he held that gaze the entire time. It was just pure um, determination and really trying to embody the character of, of not just tango being serious, but also that song by the Rolling Stones has got a very dark edge to it. Exactly. So he did a great job of really trying to uh, emulate that character. So you guys got all eights. What did you think of the scoring? Did you think you were a little underscored? I would have personally loved to see a nine or two in there. Mm -hmm. but I thought it was underscored. 
if you ask me. You know, you do. And then Kerry Ann also mentioned something about a mistake. Make mistakes. There was no. He, I don't know what. He didn't mis- make a mistake. I don't no. know what she's again. Kerry Ann, check those eyes. Maybe you need glasses. <laughs> but um, some things she says and sees, I just don't see it myself. Yeah, I didn't understand the mistakes thing. I went back and watched it, and I thought his timing was fantastic the whole way through. But uh, and his footwork was great. It, well, there was one little timing thing on the foot one. Yeah, he was on the end count yeah. instead of the whole beat, but. Uh, I thought he showed great improvement. So for that, I would have loved to have seen him get a nine or two. Um, but you know, it's all part of the journey, and it keeps him as determined push, as ever. Push, yeah. yeah. Push well, hopefully those next nines. week you guys will get nines. What dance are you doing next week? We have uh, Viennese Waltz, which will be amazing. I love the song. It's a Rihanna track, Love Ooh. on the Brain. Oh yes. yeah. Waltz actually it's sort of about a, yeah. a bit of a tormented love story of a girl being in love with this guy but he's just sort of not that into it so it's going to be a great story to tell uh, and then we have our new challenge that we've never ever done before which is where the judges work with us and another couple and we have to do a dance to something that they choose and we work oh, with wow. the creative with them. It's a combination of challenges that we've done in the past so awesome it's That's really so fun page um, I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you that or who my judge is, so I'm going to stop there. But really <laughs> That's good. all right. No worries. We'll take the scoop. Thank you very much. <laughs> that to you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that sounds really exciting. So getting to see you guys and Mark and Paige under Carrie Ann's guidance. I don't know. I don't know who. I don't know who. Don't know who oh, oh, that's just me assuming that it could possibly be Carrie Anne. Carrie Anne. Or Bruno. Or Bruno. Or Len. Right. Any three of the judges. Yeah. But we, we also heard that um, I guess the viewers are going to be the fourth judge for this coming yeah. week. So how do you feel about that? Which is is really exciting. We've done that in the past before, where they uh, they sort of give out the score. I don't logistically know how oh, all that yeah. works. Um, but uh, I think that's going to be a really interesting challenge. Um, it's going to really throw some spanners in the works. Yeah, yes. they love challenging us in the in the like the later weeks of the season. So uh, they're definitely not holding back on this one. Wow. So how is the energy now after last night? You lost two couples. Was it a bit of a weird atmosphere after the show? It was sad, mm. you know. At the same time, we were pushed to get straight into uh, work mode of having to talk to our couple that we're working with and our judge. So uh, we had sort of no time to mourn it or hang out in a sense. But I was really sad to see Kim and Vaughn go. Uh, I say that I didn't expect it, but then I don't know who I would have expected to go. Right. Home. Yeah, exactly. Everyone's so strong this season. Right. At week seven, everyone was pretty on on par and yeah, tight and competing and. It was uh, tough to see anyone go. Yeah, week seven. it's I hard. Think. I know Antonio is definitely sad that Vaughn has gone. It's his his buddy. His you buddy, know. yeah, for sure. Uh, it's going to be a shame to see that, but I'm also very proud of Antonio for being the last football player standing. Yes. There you go. That's always a good sign on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Sorry. Exactly. I said that's always a good sign on Dancing with the Stars. It is, it is, and he's really coming into his own at the right time, you know, with that newfound fire and competitiveness sparked behind him, and uh, it, it could, you know, another week and it would have been too late. We really started to fire up at the right time, so I'm yeah. proud of it. Yeah, it seems like your guys' partnership has really become cohesive now. Um, you know, what do you think got you guys to that point? Um, what happened we, last week? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can just make me look like the asshole. Oh, the, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Boop. <laughs> Boop. Spill that tea, girl. Oh, what so am I going to do with you? Um, <laughs> you know, we had, we had a moment a week or two ago, and we had gotten off on the on different pages. I didn't realize that he did want this. You know, it wasn't coming across to me, and he actually felt like I'd given up on him. And those two things happening at the same time really just stopped our momentum, and it was a lack of communication. And we opened up that line of communication. We said how each other feel, uh, and we were very honest with each other. Um, and of course, only part of that got played in that package, but mm-hmm. the truth behind it is, we got on the same page, and we now have a stronger bond than ever. He uh, uh, more respect than ever, and he knows how much I want this for, for him and myself. 
Um, and now I know how much he wants to do this and how competitive he is. And also that pride kicked in too. You know, Heinz Ward, yeah. another stealer, he won that Mirabal Trophy. And there's a lot of pressure on him to take that home. And uh, I just don't think he realized how much work this was going to be. And that happens to so many celebrities. So you know, many you know, celebrities, he... yeah, they don't know until they get in there and they start doing it. But I think it's been beautiful to see your guys' relationship. It's a real relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, relationships have ups and downs. They're not perfect. And um, like we've been told many a times with dance partnerships, you're the counselor, you're the best friend, you're the dance teacher, you know, it's a whole array of hats that you have to put on. So, you know, it, it's good to see that journey. So in this instance, I very much had to be his coach and figure out how to motivate him. And that was my last resort. Mm. You know, I had tried so many other ways to get him to give me more time and to show that he cared. And I just had to spark the fire underneath him. So by letting him know how far away he was from winning was my last resort. I, I kind of had to cut him down to build him back up again. And it worked, you know, and it, it was difficult for me to do that. And of course, it got played in a certain type of way, but right. it all a part of trying to motivate him because I see the potential in him and you know it paid off in the end so the fact that we are back you know stronger than ever makes me know that I made the right decision well, I'm excited to totally. step up that he made mm -hmm. I'm excited to see how he, what he does this week and yeah. get out on the floor for sure can't for wait guys thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us over here at After Buzz I greatly appreciate it Sorry for making, but at least we made it on Skype. Yes. There you yes. go. Thank you, so Thank you so much, guys. Very much. Well, all the best for next week, Shana. See you, Jules. We'll see you in the studio next week, yeah? Love you guys. <laughs> all Thank right, you. take care. Thank Bye, you guys. so Bye. much. Bye. Ah. <laughs> well, there you have it. That's That's really good good insight. Insight. Now it's time to get to the nitty gritty. <laughs> <laughs> I love Shana as a teacher. I think she's extremely talented. But um, from the beginning of the season, I didn't feel a partner was in it at all. Mm. I didn't think he would look like he could care less whether he was there or he's not. So it was only last week and this week that he started to lift his game. And obviously, he knows how to just strike at the right time. Yeah. Right? So uh, quite enjoyable this week. I did see some out of sync errors. You so did. I did see them. So you know, in the footwork, in footwork and in body contact in different places, one was a little faster than the other. So didn't look as quite in sync, perhaps as it should have been for those nines. Because yeah. I know any of them when they're out of sync, it's a, it's got a bumping feeling or not so much flow. So, but I thought he did very very well this week. He did. He got all eights, Kerry Ann, Len, and Bruno. So he got 24 out of 30. Still, I think actually when he shows he's more dedicated pack. and he's going to go, I think his scores will also lift a little bit. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I think he's on the way up. Like you said, yeah. he knows where to peak at the right time. <laughs> right. And this is definitely the right time. You know, we're coming into week eight. I, the competition is, the competition is so time. This is when people are getting tired, and I don't yeah. see him getting tired. No, I see him now just putting his, his foot win, on the accelerator just... and just going for it. So we shall see. He might be a pleasant surprise because I had no idea that he would still be in the competition at this point. You know I who I think either. is getting tired? Who? Unfortunately, and I'm heartbroken about this. I think Jody is getting tired. She seemed beat in her package mm -hmm. last night. I don't know if anyone else saw that yeah. or agreed with me, but I think yeah. that the competition is starting to weigh heavily on her. Yeah, but definitely. She was one of my fan favorites. I, I love watching her. She's an amazing dancer, though. Right. She is. Well, let's I get agree. into her, because they were the first dance of the night. They danced to Stevie Wonders for Once in My yes. Life, quick and they step. did a quick step. Um, I loved the dress. I thought she looked oh, beautiful. Stunning. Um, it was nice to see her in a routine that wasn't so angry and right. so emotionally charged right. so we could look at the dancing as opposed to you know the story behind the dance so to speak yes. uh, and I think she did a great job of it I do too uh, Shirley I know that you have some thoughts on this routine <laughs> what did you think of their quick step I actually think she's one of the best dancers in the show mm -hmm. I think she's emotionally charged I think she's ever so present and I think that she's got the ability to move mountains really my, my issue comes a little bit and I say this about all professionals not singling out Keo or anyone in particular when you're not sure about something it's always good to train off season if you're not sure about where the hold is if you're not sure about the footwork if you because the student will only be as good as the knowledge that the teacher brings Amen. And if the te if the teacher is not 100% on the game or they're not familiar with the style, that goes for any style. Well, my own children included. I know they do a lot of study. You know, Derek, for example, is still training off season. Um, I think it's extremely important that uh, 
all teachers without singling anybody out get the relevant training in order that when you get a, a lady like that that it's much easier to function because you know the footwork you know the body contact your head is off to the left it shouldn't be off to the right your body has to have a certain position in the ballroom or the smooth and yet he got off a little bit in the footwork and she managed to keep going because Carrie Ann did mention that, That's actually, right. didn't she? And there was some bumping, and there wasn't close contact. And you know, Len and uh, uh, Carrie Ann and Bruno, they have a certain criteria. And if you sit down and you take a book at the beginning of the season and you write down all Len's criteria, or each one of the judges' criteria, and then you try to cover those things, I think it actually helps you along the journey. I'm glad to see that Keo's gone further than week one or two. Yes, he deserves he's, it. He's a very gifted man, extremely good looking. You know, he's a he's a handsome. <laughs> dude and he puts himself out there but there's technique and there's technique and you, so he, he you kind of be able to pass on some knowledge and some information and I think when it comes to the free things and falling on tables and all that that's great it's extremely exciting but I think she holds her own in this 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 young lady so let me ask you this then based on that the step that he kind of lost and she kept going isn't that still a critique that's positive to her extremely positive to her but I didn't just find it in the loss of the footwork I found it in the loss of the frame the bodies were on the wrong side it was difficult for her to move so that's why they so spaced away from each other in the end so that she could do her hops around when it should have been in close contact and that caused distraction and that makes it harder as a woman to you're, you're not being led right and as the show changes and as new professionals come onto the show uh, my advice is to always make sure that you un you understand your fundamentals because you cannot fool America. They've watched Ooh. this show for 22 seasons now. Wow. And I would Im imagine that most of the people out there, they understand some footwork to some degree. They understand about flow to some degree. Mm -hmm. right. So you can't fake it. You yeah. can't fake nope. it to make it. You have to have a, s something to give in order to move and progress forward. So professionals study your technique a little bit you've been told by Ooh. the queen of ballroom <laughs> because without, my... without, i'm not asking for massive technique but without technique it's like the foundation everything else will collapse at some point if you don't have at least some knowledge underneath your body i give that advice to everybody there you go. Strong. There you have it. I do respect Jody's fighter attitude, though. She wants it. to be there. She said, "I just have to push through and keep going." I love that. She's one of my favorites. Yeah. I think she's a, outstanding. I'm with you. Do you guys feel that if maybe they would have gone maybe third or fourth, maybe the judges would have warmed up a little bit? No. Or I think no. you know. I mean, no, they no, got no, no. Um, Carrie Ann was the one that gave them the eight, right? The other two, they yes. got two nines. Correct. Um, Perhaps. Do you even think they deserve the nine? I on do. I think that Jodie has been underscored throughout this season and that she has a lot of talent. She is one of the most talented celebrities that I've seen in a really long time. So for me, it seems absolutely crazy that she's not been getting nines for weeks ago. I but agree. It, and but, I but, but it's a little bit like pro amateur dancing in, in my yeah. world. It's off the unit. Mm -hmm. The unit has to be tight. Yeah. The whole thing has to look correct. You know, when you're looking from an audience point of view at home, they see the flow, they see right. the creativity, they see the chemistry between the team. Is she one of them? Absolutely, but they need to get their act together mm. as a complete unit, I feel. Do you think Keo is holding her back? I'm not gonna say that Keo is holding her back. He's a relatively new professional on the show. and But I, I do think every professional, including my own children, can keep pushing the knowledge and the boundaries to make themselves better. I still study, I'm 55 years of age, I'm always hey. studying. Right. You know, you, you have to consistently keep studying and then you can find that you can give all these additional informations that help the student progress. Is she naturally talented? 100%. Right. But she came like that from week one. Mm -hmm. yeah, Has she got true. a great personality? Absolutely. She came like that from week one. Mm -hmm. So you're expecting to see tighter connections, better connections in the body and you're only as good as the information you're given. I think it was a great way to kick off the show. Definitely, yeah. I agree with you. Cool. I enjoyed that fantastic, number. Fantastic lady dancer. So they got 26 out of 30, yes. and they actually ended up being really towards the bottom of the leaderboard by the end of the evening. Which they was were. unfortunate. Which is really quite by disturbing. It's like, wow. By a few points. But that's the way it goes. You know, there's so many people, like you said, actually rising to the challenge that maybe don't have the the natural ability that Jody has, but they are working it, right. you know? Like for example, Val and Ginger. Like, we'll get into yes, them. Yes, I can't wait um, to get on that one. But next we have <laughs> Kim and Sasha. With the Samba. The Samba to the to Jackson, Jackson 5. five. A, B, C. It's easy as one, two, three. <laughs> That's all the singing you'll get from me. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> what did you think of this routine? I 
didn't love it. It wasn't one of my least favorites of the evening. I just, I think that she has it within her to do a stellar job. And I think she fell just a little bit short. I know that she had mentioned that she also wanted a nine in, in mm. last week's. She definitely mentioned it. Yeah, she was she, not holding she, back. No, and she said she was pissed <laughs> yep. that she didn't get one. Um, and I think, and we'll get to the elimination later. Yes. Um, I don't think she was quite ready to go yet by any no. means. I don't think that she was meant to go, but I think that she fell a little bit short in her performance last night. What about you? I thought she had a fiery personality. I think so. I think that uh, her teacher has done an amazing job this season. I'm proud of him. Okay. You know, he's he's been done some studying, obviously, and he's upped his game, and you could see it in a student. And I, just, I liked her little costume. I love the funky little hair. I mm -hmm. love the fact that she came out not Latin shoes. Yeah. So she had some quirky little things about her. And it was, uh, it's hard to see anybody go because the level is all similar some people are starting to rise a little bit now yeah. as we go into these weeks but i overall enjoyed it i love the music i thought he did a grand job and i i thought she did well she did you, sorry my darling did you think that there was a, lo a lot of content in that routine i did i she thought had some there was yeah i was quite surprised that she is able to keep up like that you know it's been quite obvious that her body has been breaking down yes. and she's still been pushing along yes, she and has. you know definitely a fighter she gives me yeah, that sassy she attitude that she's all a fighter the way. That's I, what I, was going I to say watch too. her legs yeah. I watch her feet and I watch them together in sync and I'm just I enjoy it. There um, was a certain... It might not have been the best, maybe, I don't know, song choice. I'm not sure what it was. I it agree. was something, I don't know. I like the hair. I don't know if I like the hair for the performance, per se. Like, it was just it was a cute. normal day. It was nice. It was, it was nice funky. to see something different. Um, I love the different. makeup, how it was, you know, like that effect when they changed the right. lighting. Oh, yes. the black light, yeah. That, that, that I worked. mean, it after 22 different. seasons, if people don't do <laughs> something exactly. weird, how many bloody vultures can you look at for heaven's sake? How many Botafogos? I mean, I know that, you know, one minute we're going to get to Mark, but he can get criticised for wearing his costume. He loves to wear his costume, but you know, it's like he said every <laughs> week. You know, you've you got, got to do something to keep it fresh. Spike it, keep it fresh. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. Otherwise, the show wouldn't be on air, would it? Yeah, right. Exactly. Same, same, same variety chat -chat every week. Variety is the spice of life, so you have to keep it moving. So I liked it. There was a certain moment, though, that Kim looked up from the ground, and you could see the competitive edge in her eyes. Like I am here to stay. Uh, I really, I, I, I love a good competitor. I do too, yeah. and I'm not afraid to say it. No. Go for it. No, she looked a bit shocked for one when reason. she got eliminated. She yeah. looked a bit oh, yeah. like, it stunned for a minute. Yeah, I agree. I agree. She, was going, yeah. she did. I think so too. Uh, I was surprised, however, that they got better scores than Jody. Uh, this is the one where I was. I tend to be in agreement with you on that one. <laughs> oh my like, God, folks, nine, we finally nine, agree. We finally agree. <laughs> it only took the second show for us two together to agree. But um, yes, I mean, all nines, that's great. But then when you look at it with Jody and Keo going before that and... Right. You know, they were robbed a little bit. That doesn't work for That's me. That's what I was wondering. Like maybe you know Kim and Sasha would have gone first, and they would have gone second. You know, I don't know. Well, they, I don't agree at all because I think that um, Sasha and Kim, mm -hmm. they, they were a unit, and he that, danced okay, with her, and she danced explaining. with him, and he shook, and she shook, and he looked, and she looked, and they had a little it bit of chemistry fluid. going on. Mm -hmm. So there was chemistry as where maybe the the others. Maybe Works a better so dancer. Much. It's not always about the best yeah. dancer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's about it's what you can create that's an entertaining routine. You know, it's it's the whole half package. a dozen of one and six of the yeah. other. Exactly. But, uh, you know. but it still was tragic to be eliminated when oh, you get the sad. highest score, your highest score of the season. At least she went out on a high, though. That's true. That's true. At least she didn't nice. leave, you know, thinking that she didn't do her best. Because that true. would suck. Yeah. Anyway, moving on to Niall and Peter. They did the Foxtrot. Uh, beautiful, beautiful day. day, you two. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love this oh, song. My, are we actually agreeing on more than one thing? What is going on it's today? We're sitting next to each other. We typically okay? don't see eye to eye. <laughs> <laughs> Shirley, what did you think of this routine, Niall and Peter? Well, first of all, I think he is inspiring. He's just amazing. I mean, I watch his interpreter. I watch how he's working. I watch the interpreter following round. It's, it's the most bizarre and amazing thing to watch. He's got the most beautiful frame. To say they only have two or three days to get this stuff together, she right. does an amazing job with him. And what I really liked about him yesterday is he managed to keep all his legs flexed. He didn't, he didn't look bumpy or jerky. A tad, tad 
over choreographed for me it could there could have been slower places different dynamics something that's going a little bit faster into something that's going a little bit slower to get a little bit more chemistry between the two but I have to take my hats off to him he also is one of my favorites he he was outstanding. I felt. What was his score again yesterday? His score, he got. Oh. Well, That's this was Bruno. the controversial, uh, controversial scoring where Bruno thought he gave a ten, but in fact oh, he gave right. a nine. So yeah. they got twenty-eight out of thirty. Two nines and a ten. Two nines yeah. and one ten. Um, I have to agree with you. I think he did a fantastic job this week, especially after last week. You could tell that he was brought down a peg or two by the reaction right. of people's yeah, opinion was. of how they thought he came across off of that package. And he said, you know, it's really important to me to represent deaf people in a good way because they're not seen on television that frequently, so it's, it's important to him. And that sincerity really hit me because he, he you know, sees it as more of than just a dance competition, although he's absolutely nailing it and killing it in he the is. dance. And I, I love totally that tell Peter he said down. that it's okay to aspire to be a professional dancer. I, I really still, I stick with what I said last week. I think that what he said was taken out of context by well, the judges. Well, they can edit and package anything they want. Exactly. You could say a full sentence and they do two words. Right. So and they can make you look this way or that way. You know, it's all in the editing. Exactly. So, the presentation. I loved when um, Peter said, well, if Val would have had it done in five minutes. Yeah. I like <laughs> that. Because that she was knows brilliant. how to make him move. <laughs> he doesn't look like he's laugh. got a nasty bone in his body. He doesn't. He looks like a very sincere young man to he me. He doesn't have a nasty bone in his body. Yeah. And I, for me watching, I, I sense that he was just a level down as far as mental. His mental, that bothered him, how everyone took, how he said, out of context. And um, I enjoyed the performance. And the booty sticking out didn't really bother me that much. Yes, I, I noticed it. But I don't know if that's because I'm just staring at Niall. You know, <laughs> <Right>. just because. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll say it again. After three days of getting something together, he had a great shoulder line. He was mm -hmm. able to flex his legs. His footwork was reasonable. And so he sticks his butt out. So, so what? You know I what did mean? not I mean, mind it at all. After three days, I've got pro amateur dancers who don't do as good as him. Right. I love right. that Len right. said that uh, his bum stuck out, um, but others climb hills and he climbs and mountains, mountains, and Tom said you have to stick your bum out a little if you <laughs> need to climb a mountain. <laughs> Tom kills me with Tom his one-liners every great. single time. Fantastic. But I've loved Niall since America's Next Top Model, but last night's performance, I fell in love with him. I just thought he was graceful and elegant, and, the and you can and the see holes. he's such a gentleman. Yeah. Yeah, that's one thing you can the see, the way he looks after Shana. You know, that's for me looking at it, not as a dancer perspective, but just there's that care and attention. I'm going to put you down, but I'm going to put you down and make sure you land, and then I'm going to move on. Like, that's what exactly. I see with him, yes. which I enjoy. Um, it's very thoughtful. Um, I thought it was, it was fantastic. A lovely dance. And you really have to give kudos to Peta because what she's that doing says is absolutely so much incredible. Her, as an instructor, as a teacher, as a she's really guiding him in the right light. Well, it's just an experience that will stay with her forever, I think. Definitely. Definitely. Any experience forever. like that in life is and amazing. And he's an amazing human being on top of that. Right. So that's that's a friendship that they're, they're a building nice as well. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Agree. So they got a 10 from Carrie Ann, a 9 from Len, and a 10, no, <laughs> a nine sorry, point just five. kidding, <laughs> a 9 from Bruno. That's twice that's happened this season. I know, to I the point to shake where him. Rob came back out with the sheet because they write it on a, just a blank piece of paper and showed him the nine that he wrote. Sure. Right. And nine. He it wasn't was a hybrid. Honestly, no, it wasn't, it wasn't between a like nine and ten. 9.5. No, he 100% wrote nine and he didn't really know what to say. It was almost like, do you have like, you know, short term memory problems? Because it wasn't Maybe even two minutes. It wasn't any, anywhere he's going close. Out when he's judging people all his sexual can. innuendos. Yes. <laughs> he was too busy thinking about those exactly. as opposed to the scores, perhaps. But um, anyway, next was Antonio and Shana doing the tango, which we've already talked about. So they got um, eight, eight, eight for a score of 24 out of 30. Anything else we wanted to add that we didn't get to talk about on their routine? No, I, I, I just covered it. would like to see that he remains completely dedicated and gives her the opportunity and the time that she's going to need to progress through the rest of the competition. Ooh. Because, you know, obviously I pop by McCadden sometimes and uh, <laughs> I have to be careful what I say or the professionals get all upset. <laughs> You know, you know, and you see no, some. Nice you see sometimes the it. students, or sometimes the students are on the cell phone. I mean, put the cell phone away. Put the cell phone in your bag. Walk into the studio and take that six hours and get off your phone. 
Yeah. You know, I mean, I understand that there's some school, wardrobe and alone. this and that and the other. I get that. But you've got to commit if you want the these results. Se- these cell phones today, though, they're like just... <laughs> I know. Cuts any sort of social activity. It or, really does. But aesthetically, um, I really did enjoy her her outfit. Before oh, the I nip slip, that dress was beautiful. Oh, she and when great. you think about Tom and the nip slip incident, there's so many times when the camera isn't on them. Do, do you know why they made a big deal about it? It must have been coming through on one of the cameras, perhaps. Because he could have, while they were on the judges, I feel like he could have been like... That. But I it was television. just in case. It's, it's television. You need that. It's, you need that. You need that. You need it's that. entertainment, right? I of mean, course. at the end of the day, they covered it. So that's not really an issue. I think it's more, it happened. Let's and just she's own cute, it. Let's right. address it. And let's move bacon. on. You know, these yeah. things happen and that's that. Um, Cute girl. Yeah, bless Shana. She, she <laughs> had a night of it with costuming, but um, <laughs> she came out the other end. <laughs> she was she, in good spirits, though. Like, <laughs> she oh. took it like a champ. Um, moving on, we have Wanye and Lindsay. They did the foxtrot to Say a Little Prayer, Aretha Franklin. I feel like I was missing something last night mm-hmm. with... Did you feel the same way with Wanye? I did. I think we saw from the package that he was extremely stressed out. And he didn't have busy. enough time. He was speaking to his team about getting more time to rehearse. Uh, I do feel that like that perhaps got to him. Right. And he wasn't able to really give it the finesse that he usually comes on the floor with every single week. Right. I was missing that extra finesse from him. like. I just felt like he had no net. He's typically an entertainer, and last night he just showed up. Yeah, that's how I felt too. He showed up, but he didn't show out. I right. think he's he's an entertainer, and I think from what week one, she's done an amazing job with him, oh, as she did totally. last season. And he is a standout dancer and very comfortable in his own skin. But I think when it comes to sports people or anybody in the sports, they know how to lift their game. They Under pressure is not a problem for them. And I just felt that he felt a little bit the pressure yesterday. I thought he looked round-shouldered at the Mm -hmm. top. I thought the concept of the routine was great. I thought Lindsay did great ideas. I love the little door. Yeah, I I love that that too. And she's just as cute as cute can be. But again, if you don't have the time, and the time is already limited to three days, four maximum, if you don't have the time, you're just learning the steps to music. You don't have time to add a detail or a detail or a detail. But overall, she's done a great job. I do think he's a front runner. But uh, we'll have to see how now he goes against sports people as they now start Start to to rise. I have to agree with you. I felt as though he lost that musicality and those attentions to the details that he usually always have. Well, he's definitely more geared to Latin. He he loves the Latin part. And, you know, when he did his James Brown, I just want to jump out my seat. He was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I think he saved himself on that, the team dance. But the ballroom for anybody and the smooth is difficult. Mm. Once you get it in close contact and you, but one has to be off to the left and the other one off to the left, it's and difficult. And as a guy as well, you're holding the frame, right? You should so. be holding the frame, but Lindsay does a good job of holding that frame. <laughs> <laughs> I give that girl 10 out of 10. Good, good girl, Lindsay. <laughs> good to know, good to know. <laughs> like you got one thing here. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. I definitely enjoyed um, the performance as far as the setting of the performance. It was lovely. And that probably distracted me more than anything. Cause at that moment, I was like, this is my favorite dance so far. Just One because of is so jolly. <laughs> he and is. looks like he's happy to yeah, be there. jolly chap. Yes. Yeah. A jolly yes. chappy. He's a jolly chappy. Jolly chappy. A jolly old chap. A jolly old chap. Um, no, I agree. He definitely was um, great regardless. Uh, they got nines across the board for 27 out of 30. Which was a great score because if his frame would have been a bit better, if he'd have had a little bit more time, there'd have probably been 10s. Ten, ten, yeah, in, in there. It's amazing what he was able to turn out yeah, he's Which talented. Which is good to know, yes. right? So he was in third place this week, and he was first last week, so that's probably going to hurt him a little bit. So I'm looking forward to well, seeing hopefully him. hopefully he has the time this week. Fingers crossed. I think he'll make the time. <laughs> After seeing, <laughs> After seeing that was. package, I think he will make the time. <laughs> now, right. the next package I loved. Yeah? Yeah. We're uh, talking about um, Ginger, Ginger and, and Val. Val. Yes, they team did Gin the... and Juice. <laughs> Is that what yes. we're calling them? Yeah, that's, that's, their, what that's their team name. Yeah, they did the Viennese waltz to Whitney Houston's "I Have Nothing." This was so after perfect. last week. Yes, this doing was so the perfect. Janet, I was a bit worried about another huge icon. Yeah, but what did no, you think? Do you think she sweet. pulled it off? I think that she did a nice job. Um, I I think that 
I think that they took last week's criticism and just powered through. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that last week was last week. I love that Val apologized to her. He said, I don't want to ruin this competition for you because he knows that he can be difficult just like his brother. Mm -hmm. That's my student for years. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but I, I just like that he, he stopped when he did and he said, hey, look, let's enjoy this. I just thought it was nice. I thought it was great. He, he is... Um, Val has got to be one of the nicest people that's ever crossed my life as a teacher. He's an amazing human being. He gets a little bit ratty, but he has the ability <laughs> to apologize. I love that about him. It's important. And uh, I loved his music yesterday. I loved his choice of choreography. And, and again, here is an experienced professional. This is a boy who does know the quality of how to move in his ballroom, the quality of how to move with his Latin. I mean, the three boys, Derek, Mark and, and Julianne and all those kids, they all grew up together as juveniles doing this, which is under 12, yeah. under 10. I find he knows his trade. He is a great teacher. He can produce outside of this as well in the competitive world I'm in. When I come across a student that he's trained, I only have to look at them. You're trained by Valentin Chimikovsky. That is amazing. You can tell because there's a quality about what he does. He's a perfectionist. He wants the best of what he does. I loved his choreography. I loved his music. I just adore Ginger. I think she's as cute as can be. And um, I don't think it always comes 100% natural to her. Mm. But when you watch her, it, it flicks that hair back like, give it me again, Val. OK, I'll do it. No whining, screeching, squealing, crying, feel sorry for me. None of that. Nope. That's I'll get so on true. with it. That's so true. Because she has to balance a little bit like when I was competing and Mark was only four. She has to balance a baby and a husband and a travelling and Good Morning America and sometimes a difficult partner with Val, but a great <laughs> teacher, so she's got all these balancing acts. My hat goes off to that woman. 100% agree. So do you agree with the perfect score? I do. Good. I, I do. I think Team Gin and Juice was laid back with their mind on the mirror ball and the mirror ball on their mind, <laughs> like straight <laughs> slayed. And this was perfect for her. I feel like her dance ability and the performance meshed at the perfect time. Last week, we saw her struggling with trying to be a little nasty, and this was perfect for her. Mm -hmm. It was sultry. Feminine. Was and that's adorable. what Ginger is. That's exactly what Ginger is and it embodied that. Uh, Even when she says the weather, it's so feminine. <laughs> it's, no, please don't is. try and make her nasty. <laughs> please don't try and, you know, like, it's true. Let's, that's let's just stick not to her. what's good with her and for her. I agree. And I was in love. Completely in love. I have to agree with all of you guys. I definitely thought there was such an attention to detail that Val brings with his students that you can just tell. Um, he just really goes over everything. You can see in the packages, he's like, again, again, you need to be faster, attention you need to, to go, mm -hmm. you need to go. And she takes but, but it again, so if well. If you're a teacher and you don't have that information, you can't pass that information along. And then, you know... So it proves my point. Of course, say. yeah. <laughs> Down the line, I just want to keep yeah. saying that to any you. young, aspiring, Dancing with the Stars oh. professional, learn your trade you before you go on the show. There you go. There you go. Yeah. You've been told by the Queen of Ballroom, guys. Okay. Listen up. And I mean it in a loving way, like a motherly way. You know, it's it's important to understand what you do when you go in and of take course. on a task like this. A hundred percent. I agree with you. Um, I'm just so glad that Ginger came back this week because yes. last week for me was really disappointing. Mm -hmm. was. With that routine, I was just thinking, oh. Come on, Ginger, you got this. You've got and this. It, that, that wasn't it. <laughs> but this week, I was just overjoyed. Her aura in studio, it was a great aura, wasn't it, Shirley? Yeah. Like, everybody was just really in their dance. It started with the mirrors, so it was very small, and then grew out, and she grew out with the routine. Yes. I loved her energy. I thought her spins were really good. This woman's not had any dance training in her life. She's spinning her top off. I have to say, though, I just want to go back to what you she's just great. said about last week's number. I think she brought last week's number. I just don't think she's that kind of character yeah. to bring the nasty. Mm. But the way she brought the routine, it was synchronized, it was well rehearsed, it was going and doing. She, it's just not. She's just not that character yeah. of a person. But I thought she brought the routine. She just failed to Execute deliver that with sensual the, appeal, shall we say? The sensual appeal. The next. <laughs> That's a good way. The next dance. Disappointing. Von Miller. Least favorite dance. And Whitney, evening. mine too. Yep. Oh, we did. They got a perfect score, didn't they? The oh, yes, before? yes. Uh, Ginger, Ginger and Val got, got, yeah, got perfect score. Yeah, the first perfect score of the first. season. Of the season. That's pretty ding, ding, like late in the season, isn't it? Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. We went from the best dance to the worst dance last night. Isn't that interesting? It is. Mm. Hmm. Mm. What did you happen to think of the salsa other than it was your least favorite? <laughs> what made it that way? 
Give it oh, to I us, think Charlie. of Elvis, you know, he bumps and grinds and he gives you something that's just earthy and wonderful Ooh. and mesmerising. It is. She said they didn't do it. And, and the cloak, and he was so big. And the, the, Did it look a little clumsy, the cloak? Yeah. And the cheese like, sideways. sideways. Did he really not know who Elvis was? I think he was, I I think think he was joking. I couldn't joking. tell, I couldn't <laughs> tell at first. I, I was like, what is going on I here? I think he was referring Whitney. to Whitney, Whitney. because okay. she's a young one. And, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, good. That's because I, I, I was a little worried for a minute. No, I think he's... I think he knows who okay. they are. I think, I sure think hope so. with Whitney, anything that's brought that's uh, freestyle or jazz or lyrical, uh, things like that is outstanding. And again, in the Latin and ballroom, as with all the other professionals, is continue training. And so the, the stronger you are, then the stronger the student becomes yeah. and so on and so forth. So it's good to be balanced across the board. But generally, she does a pretty good job. But yesterday, it was not my favorite. I don't know if it's his body, but him and the salsa, I just couldn't get into it. It didn't really feel I didn't like... Know. I didn't feel like there was salsa. I don't know. Yeah, it didn't feel like a salsa to me. I mean, the song choice, too, for a salsa just seems a bit <laughs> random. Elvis. Uh, she well, did admit that they couldn't pick, they didn't pick these songs, I think, this week um, uh, on one of her interviews. I mean, mm. it is what it is, but um, <laughs> he had a great effort. And the one thing I do have to say about Vaughn, because we did lose him last night, him and Whitney were out, um, I did love that Charming. I saw a different side of him. You know, mm. he always gave 110%. Mm -hmm. He never... Unassuming, funny unassuming, yeah, yeah, nice, nice guy. He just like I would like to hang with him and like just sit there and have a chat. Like he seems like a really cool dude and just like open to whatever he what Don't comes his way. Don't you think the whole cast has been like that those seasons? There's I really do. been no really assholes really on there this people. season. Yeah, like <laughs> all nice, really good sorry. job of casting nice people, guys. So I really did like this side of Vaughn. It was full of energy, the flips and tricks. You know, I was a little nervous, but yeah, um, definitely. He managed to do them all. It's just, I don't know, I think everything together as a whole package, song choice, uh, song style, I mean, dance style and everything just didn't do it for me. No. Nope. No. Nope. Well, they got all eights, 24 out of 30. Not a bad score, considering. Um, Actually, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Everything. Next, our last dance of the night, Paige and Mark doing oh, the jive. I think you know Mark. Do you I know think him? I know him. <laughs> Mm. So Sizzling. let's start with you, Shirley. What did you think of this routine? Well, if I, go through, okay. I, I want to just reiterate for the for the audience here, yes. you know, because I know he gets often criticised for bringing all these different dimensions that he does because people assume that you have to do this. You shouldn't assume you have to do anything. That boy loves to dress up. He loves to entertain. Yesterday he stripped it down. Yep. Very little in what he was with the backs and smokes and all that, none of that. Nice, simple attitude and decided to just go for that full-on jive. And I have to say, I've seen many jives on Dancing with the Stars over the 22 seasons, but that one was the best one I'd ever seen. And that's not because he's my son. That girl brought her game yesterday. Yes, she sure she, did. she started off that season with no one talking about her. If you read anything in the press, she wasn't mentioned. Mm -hmm. And they're mentioning this one and this one. And I feel gradually... As, as a confidence, she's not an overly confident person. I know she's this MA fighter and, you know, she's had all these trials and tribulations in her life. And I just feel like she's starting to lift and I feel like she's grasping that America actually does love you, do babe. They really love yeah. her. They do yeah. love you. And they love do love, love you. Head her. over heels, over you. Absolutely. They, adorable. they do love you. So feel embraced, feel warmth, feel love from these people who appreciate that you're going out there. And it's hard to keep up with Mark. Uh, yeah, we know. You know, that <laughs> choreography yesterday, he used that a toll so gate in there, which is the figure that goes around where she has to catch the wrists. That it's was amazing. It's called a toll gate. I had it when I danced many moons ago, but I, I, when he told me, he said, I think I'm going to throw in a toll gate, I thought, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you miss one of those hands. Somebody's getting over. a black eye or a oh set of teeth are going. <laughs> oh, no. And that girl, when I watched her, she was like, right, left, right, left, boom, boom, spin, in, go, out, kick, It was up. the most intricate footwork of the evening. Unbelievable. super difficult difficult and she nailed she it. She nailed it and there was at one point if you play it back, she, I think she had three spins or a double spin towards the end yes. and she was t a tad a hair out of sync. She whisked herself around she up, sure she did. went down, she went, I thought you go girl. You yeah. go. Turns she were everything. She I got wasn't dizzy. missing a beat yesterday so I have to give her kudos and 100 even agree. a little number last week that she kept up with him with his Austin powers, I thought it was fully in character and 
you know, maybe she is somebody to look out for. I know she's not the football player and the. I think this she know, could Niall, be in the top though. I think after this routine, uh, there is no way people can't be looking at Paige she's and Mark thinking, to be oh, with. Exactly. oh, maybe we discounted her too soon because that routine, those cartwheels, you know, when they did that lift, that was outstanding. Yes. Showstopper of routine for me. Do you know what I think changed in yesterday? There's something I observed when Erin gave her a little cuddle at the end and she said, you know, you're a beautiful girl and America does love you. And did you see her? She kind of dropped her little head and she put her little head on the shoulder and, you know, afterwards I just said to her, you know, how are you feeling? She goes, I can't even say anything. It's just, it was just here. So it's just like, you know, a real emotional journey She needs to be loved. Yep. She's a hard worker Good too. Good thing America Love loves her. She was right? spicy. Yes. Yeah. She was spicy last night. Yeah. Very when I much think of so. her and Ginger, I feel like those are my two top girls. Yeah. Um, we do have to start wrapping up, but Shirley, I know that you have a few things going on, so do tell us about those things going on, please. Oh, well, I just wanted to, I'm, I'm sure most of the audience appreciate, they always give me a few minutes to chat about what's going on other than the dancing in our life. And uh, as you all know, Mark's, uh, Mark and his fiance, BC Jean, have formed the group Alexander Jean. Uh, Derek danced the Viennese waltz uh, last season and the song went to number one. Well, they've been picked by the Grammys. Oh, um, out of 600 bands, uh, Mark and BC, Alexander Jean, their group, was picked to perform on the 17th of May and um, out of 600 bands. So that's just wow. amazing. So that's please all look for that. Support them whenever you can. And they've got good news as a group coming Thursday. I can't mention it, but please watch out for what's coming with Alexander Jean this Thursday. And um, and Derek's doing his thing and lead role in Hairspray, just for all the people I know that love him that are, he is not on the show this season. Lead role in Hairspray and singing in the rain next year and doing all sorts of topics and goodies nice. and things like that. So. Amazing. Wonderful. Thank you. Well, thank exciting. you, Shirley, for joining us. We always love having you in here with your insight. You are the queen of ballroom, so it's thank lovely you. to really know the intricateness, that's not a word, but yes, of the routines that we're watching. So thank you so much. I appreciate that, but I so thank America for watching. Keep voting. Don't ever assume that somebody's going to stay in just because they do great routines. Please, please vote. Share with it your counts. friends. It counts an awful lot when you're trying to keep somebody on, maybe with a smaller fan base. It's true. Good That's to so see true. you. All. So, um, your Instagram and Twitter is. You can find Shirley Ballas at <laughs> Shirley Ballas. <laughs> at Shirley there Ballas. You go. I'm looking there for friends. <laughs> Join my Twitter. Follow her. Follow her. She's I like always tweeting. got lots of fun things going on. A very busy lady. And Thank Robin, you. where can everybody find you? Um, it was. This has been a great, great after show. So glad you joined us, Thank Shirley. Thank you. Um, I, I'm I Robin love coming. with a V, and you can find me at B Stays Busy. There you I go. Like that. The beast stays busy. <laughs> you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Mr. Matthew Evan. What a great show. And thank you so much for joining us, thank Shirley. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank Good you America. guys for joining us. I'm Diva Dove. You can find me at Diva Dove on Instagram and Twitter. And we look forward to seeing you guys next week. We're going to have some more fun guests. So do not miss it. Yes. All right, guys. See take you later. care. Bye. Bye. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.